I'm Mike Kovac, freelance photographer. I got permission to ride around one night in a police squad car, because trouble often breaks out during one of these big city heat waves. Come on, let's break it up. Come on, let's break it up. Come on. Get out of here. Believe me, Mike, this is going to be one of those nights. Why? Who knows? When it gets hot, people seem to lose their heads. Well, there's got to be a reason. Ah, the heat's all they need. It's an explosion you're after. You sure picked the right neighborhood. Well, then I guess I'll walk around and uh, see who's going to light the fuse. Yeah, good luck, Mike. Right. Thanks very much. Thanks a lot, Mike. I'll see you. Hate brings trouble. Well, I don't look for trouble. I've got enough of my own. But I do look for emotion. Emotion that puts tension on a face and makes it unforgettable. Kitten, I saw you. You didn't see oh, anything because there wasn't kid. anything to see. What do you mean? Nothing. Oh, you yeah, I saw you. You out of your mind. About You're about ridiculous. You. Vanilla, huh? My friend, I should talk to you. Hey, you a reporter? Nah, a photographer. Yeah? Hey, you want to take my picture? I don't photograph celebrities. Hey, hey. <laughs> He's no oh. celebrity, mister. This is a movie star. Yeah. Look at her face. Yeah, yeah, look yeah, at that, yeah, huh? Yeah, yeah, huh? Yeah. You recognize that? <laughs> hey, what are you looking for? Nothing. Just waiting for something to happen. <laughs> then you're on the wrong block, because nothing ever happens here. <laughs> And if anything ever happened here, mister, she'd know it. Let me tell you that. <laughs> all right, all she'd know right. It. Hey, what's that? Oh. Oh. Hey, what are you Did you get a look at him? It was a man. A man. A man? What man? Camera. Starring Charles Bronson. Now get off of that car. Come on, hurry it up. Get off of there. Okay, folks, I'm only going to say it one more time. The show's over. Go home. Oh, Can you tell me, was he big or small? Fat or skinny? Oh, I didn't see him. It was dark, he grabbed me, and I screamed. And that's it. Honest. Probably went through the alley. Could be in Jersey by now. Are you sure you don't need a doctor? All I want to do is get home before my pa finds out. Please. Well, if we pick anybody up, we'll let you know. You, uh, see something funny? Riley, there's a joke in here someplace. When I find it, I'm gonna really start laughing. He's got him. Not me. Her. She wasn't in that alley with a man, it was a woman. They are probably fighting over some guy. <laughs> You all right? I'm all right, Pa. What happened? Pa? I asked you what happened. Pa, they're looking at me and my dress is torn. All right, what are you all talking at? That's what I want to know. Uh, we got a right to be here. It's a public street. No, who asked you, Mrs. Norto? Ah, go on back where you came from, yeah. boy. Yes. You know something, Joe? Yeah. I think she would have been better off if she stayed with the guy in the alley. You mean Phil Pike would have been better off? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Phil Pike, huh? Well, what do you know? It's about time if somebody asks me. Oh, yeah, and even if they didn't ask you, you'd tell them. Yeah. <laughs> there was no man in that alley with her. 
But there was another woman. Well, Carmen, I'm your brother, and I've got a right to know. Doc! I can't no, for a smart-looking guy, that's a pretty dumb thing for you to say. Yeah. Maybe it sounds dumb, but it was another woman. I want to know who did it. A man. Look, Carmen, I'm your brother, and I've got a right to know. Oh, Doc, I couldn't see. You're lying, and you know it. Oh, look, Pa, it was bad enough. Now, let me alone, huh? I said I don't know. Well, supposing I say you do know, and so do I. How can you know if I don't? It was Phil Pike, wasn't it? Huh? Huh? Wasn't it? Yeah. Huh? Yeah, it was Phil Pike. We have to go into that again. Well, look, all you gotta do is say it wasn't Phil Pike, you say it wasn't him. I said I don't know, and that ought to be enough. Well, it ain't. I've got a good memory. I should have torn him apart that time on the roof. This wouldn't have happened. Nobody can talk to you. Nobody. Look, all you've gotta... Let go of me. What are we gonna do, Pop? What? I don't know. We'll do something. You got ears. You heard Carmen said it was a man. All I know is what I saw. You better get glasses, picture taker. What I can't understand is why this Phil Pike? Why him and not you or you? Hey, if you knew him, you wouldn't ask such a dumb question. Hey, Joey, will you tell him? Tell him. Yeah, because he's a troublemaker and a wise guy and everybody hates him. There's a lot why? of guys like that but you don't accuse him of grabbing a girl in an alley. Now look, we ain't accusing anybody. She is. All we're saying is it figures. Right, Manny? Right, right. Yeah. Hey, hey, what'd you do there? You took his picture? Hey, did you th You said you didn't want his picture. I didn't <laughs> until I got a good look at him. <laughs> hey, it's pretty good. Hey. Alone, Pop. Let me have just five minutes alone with him, huh? Once and for all, he's gonna learn. Maybe the action was cool. Hey. Phil Pike's apartment's over there. What are they going that way for? Oh, big, brave man. They gotta talk first. They gotta jump up and down like wild Indians. Well, that's good. Maybe they'll talk themselves out. Well, maybe, but if they don't, Phil better start running. And you know something else? He deserves everything he gets and then some. Oh, boy, the things I could tell you. Hey, you know, last week you went out with that... Fill me in later, will you? Fill me in later? Yeah, yeah, but listen, I want to tell you... I'll tell you something else. I bet you ten to one he gets away with this just like he got away with everything else, too. Jake? Yeah? Jake. You got a kid. How'd you like to have something like this happen to her? Well, she's living in Jersey with her mother. That ain't what I ask you. Look, I ain't denying he's no good. I ain't forgetting the squeeze he put on me. Hey, you guys, you remember? What? Remember what? How much the plate windows cost, he asked me. Yeah, like I don't know the rat's gonna throw a rock to if I don't pay up. Oh, well, he's a real fink. Are you kidding? That bum owes me from two World Series ago. Sure. A guy like that in the neighborhoods, what, well, it's it's like a sickness. Yeah. Yeah, yeah like a real mad dog. Well, I got plenty to pay him back for. It. Just stuff that me and him knows about. What's he doing here? Him, he's taking pictures. You go take him someplace else. I told you to get lost. Well, maybe you didn't tell me loud enough. Well, maybe you can hear this, wise guy. You better not miss the first time. Hey. This is none of your business. Taking pictures is my business. You know, Bert, you've been doing a lot of screaming. You scream at your kids. You scream at this hot-headed bunch here. You've been screaming so loud, you wouldn't know the truth if it knocked you over. Well, the truth is, your daughter was in the alley with a woman. It wasn't a man, it was a woman. My sister said it was a man that jumped her. Well, she was wrong. You're lying about my sister. Won't you come any closer? There's one more step and I'll throw this right through your head. <laughs> with a beer. Don't tell me. You're the photographer. Well, that's pretty obvious. Sit down. I don't need no camera to tell me who you are. Nothing goes on in this neighborhood Phil Pike doesn't know. Yeah, well, maybe you know that your neighbors are working up to tear you apart. <sighs> Bunch of blowhards. Westerns. I watch them all. 
Mister, I just left that mob. They're boiling. Let them boil. Well, unless you want to get roughed up, you'd better call the police. Cops? <laughs> That's a good one. Cops. Who needs them? Well, I think you do. I can handle them, Buster. I don't need anyone. You have it your own way. That's the way I always have it. That's a picture of what you used to look like. Give me that camera. Suppose you come and get it. Do things I don't like. Cops and photographers. I don't like strong arm guys. And I don't like guys that work protection rackets. Mister, I don't like you. <laughs> Phil Pike is around. You're right! Hate like that can strike anybody. Why doesn't somebody stop it? Nobody can stop it. Well, a 10 cent call, the police will. Operator, this is Mike Kovac. Would you call the police and have them send a car down a 4th Street between 9th and 10th? There's a mob out to get a guy. That's right. Thank you very much. Pop, this is Mike. Pop, I haven't got time for a health report. Here's what I want you to do. Hop in a cab, come down a 4th Street between 9th and 10th, and make it as fast as you can. That's right, fourth between ninth and tenth. Now hurry, Pop. Say, do you mind if I leave my case here? Sure, leave it. Well, you're not taking any chances, are you? Well, I only hope you ain't taking too many chances. Don't worry about me. All right, that's enough, Pop. Who's gonna fix Bill Pike's wagon? Huh? Well, Okay, okay, what's going on here? What's going on here? Yeah, we got a call you were after some guy. No, we're not after nobody, no. Well, what are you hanging around the street for? Well, we all live around here, officer. Every one of us. Yeah, every one of us. Yeah. 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 All right, all right, break it up. Okay, come on, let's move. What, you gonna do anything? Like what, Mike? Well, whatever you do, I don't know. Listen, they're after a guy called Phil Pike. They think he roughed up that girl. You know where he is? He's in his room. But I talked to him a while ago, and he won't ask for protection. Well, until he does, or unless somebody attacks him, there's nothing we can do. That's the law. Can't arrest him for sitting on stoops. Mm, we'll have the cop on the beat look around when he gets this way. Did you tell him it was a woman? Oh, I told him they won't listen. Well, neither do you, Mike. You'd keep riding with us. Take this film back, develop it, and make enlargements and get back as fast as you can. What are they? Never mind, just do like I tell you. Are you in trouble? No, Pop, you always have to be in trouble. You don't have to be, but you usually are. Just do like I tell you. Driver, take them back to where you picked them up. I will hurry. All right, fast as you can.
Who called the cops? A fink. How do you fix a fink? Let's show him. Come in. I'm all right. Now come in, please. Go home. Wherever you live, go now. Listen, old man, that's what everybody does. They all go home and they pull the shade. Somebody's got to stay here and make them see where they're wrong. Yeah, but why you? Because I've got a weapon. I've got something to fight back with. Pictures, old man. Pictures for the whole world to see. That's something they can't hide from. A mirror for them to look into. Hold it! Hold it! What are we wasting our time here for? Phil Pike is the one we're after. Come on, let's go. Yeah. Yeah. Give that girl Carmen. Maybe I can talk some sense into her. Oh, I won't do any good. But go out my back door, around the block, and then behind her building, there are stairs. Thanks, old man. Only don't get caught in an alley. They get even braver in the dark. Aren't you hiding? You found me, didn't you? You know what's happening down there on the street? Shaking fists, calling names like always. No, they've gone past that stage. They've picked out a pigeon, and now they've got him cornered. So what? So all you have to do is get down there, tell the truth, and it'll all be over. <laughs> Not for me, it wouldn't be over. What about Phil Pike? Well, what about him? You think he ain't got it coming for that night on the roof? Not that anything happened. But you think he ain't got it coming for all the lies he told me? Carmen, maybe he's got a lot coming to him, but not this way. Well, it's none of your business. I saw you in that alley with a woman. That's a lie. What are you afraid of, Carmen? Afraid that your father bought the lie now it's gotten too big for you? I'm not afraid of my father. That woman that was in the alley, somebody the whole street knows, I'll bet. I'm not afraid of you either. A married woman, married, and you were fooling around with her husband. Well, nobody's gonna do nothing to me. Nobody's gonna catch me. If you'll go away. Please go away. <laughs> All right, Carmen, I'll go away. But that woman better show up before Phil Pike starts bleeding, because you'll never be able to hide from that. It may look quiet, but it ain't. Did they go up to get him? Mm-hmm. The whole rotten gang of them. What did you call the police? Mm-mm. Not me they're after. <laughs> oh, lady, how many times I've heard that and how many times I've seen them come to get you next. I never touched her. You know it, Bert. You know it. You know it. You got it coming, Phil. S somebody do something. Call the cops. Somebody do something! We're the ones that are gonna do something. Right, guys? Hey, hey, hey. Oh. Come on, yeah, come on. Yeah, yeah. come on Bert, tell him. Jerry, you tear him apart. Somebody else kick him and jump on him when he's down. What are you saying? I never touched her, I swear. What's the difference? The girl's just an excuse anyway. That's a lie. It's the truth. Every one of you is looking for an excuse to hit somebody. And Carmen's lies as good as any. Don't listen to him. You're right. Why can't one of you be honest? Just one of you. Why can't you own up to what's really eating you? What is it, huh? Your job? Your wife? The heat? Or can't you stand living in the rut that you dug for yourself? No. It's him. For what he did to my Carmen. We all know that. Yeah. 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 Except me, Carmen, and Phil. And the woman that tore into Carmen. He's right. You gotta listen to him. I didn't do anything. We're not not a listening. Come on! <laughs> Who are these people? What happened? Here, I'll tell you later. Bert! 
Something. You recognize that bird? Huh? That's a rabble rouser. Everybody look at it. It rants and it raves and it foams at the mouth. You see that? But mostly it hates. And it brings out the hate in everybody else. And when they start hating hard enough, then they've just got to knock somebody down, Bert. Anybody. Yeah. Oh, yes, and it has kids that grow up into a glob of spite. They're not even a vulture could stomach. That's you, Jerry. Manny, I've got one for you. This is a yellow-bellied bootlicker. You ever see him before? You know what he does? All he does is ride around in the swamp on the back of a gang fighter. A gang fighter. You ever see him before, Joe? Huh? You recognize the beady eyes? And the sweat? You know where he hangs out? In the middle of a mob, Joe. He gets real tough when the odds are about 10 to 1. <laughs> Yeah, you laugh. Well, maybe this will wipe the smile off your face. There's a picture of the shade puller. You know what a shade puller is? It's the kind of a person that hides and lets everybody else do the job for them. You tell him, buddy. You tell these rats good. Well, what makes you think I forgot you, huh? What are you talking about? I'm the guy they're picking on. You know my heart bleeds for you? It bleeds so much that I took a picture of you, too. Yeah. That's a perfect replica of the loudmouth big shot. The kind of an animal that tramples through neighborhoods stepping on the little guy so that he can feel a little bit taller. That's you, Phil. Now, why don't you take it up to your room and hang it on a wall, huh? Hey, Carmen. I got a picture of you here, too. Here, you want to come over and get it? You want me to nail it to the lamppost for the whole world to see what a weak-kneed whiner looks like? Here. And the others coming. I want you to take a good look at them. Because whatever is rotten in them, you help bring out. Oh, hey, lady. Pop, give me the camera. Yeah. Hold this. You know, I need your picture to make my set complete. No. <laughs> Let him take it. You started this whole thing, and you deserve all that's coming to you. Oh, he's my husband, you know, not hers. Over nothing. Absolutely nothing. Me and Carmen took the same subway home from work a couple of times. I bought her a cup of coffee a couple of times. And you, 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 you had to make a big thing. I'm sorry. I said I was sorry. To her. Say it to her. I'm sorry. Look, I, I suppose I should have showed up sooner, but all I heard about was Phil Pike. I nearly missed hearing you say it was a woman. Well, I'm glad somebody heard it. Come on. Let's go. Afraid, Pa. Afraid of what you'd do. Afraid. Would you believe me? Believe that nothing happened? No. Next time I will. Uh, looks like it's gonna rain, Pop. Damn boy, I'm tired. You'll go home. I'll make some tea. One question. These are strangers. Why did you mix him? Because I found something out, Pop. People do the craziest things when it's hot. 